I told you the other night that NBC News runs MSNBC. It's the same management. I also told you they use the same people. Andrea Mitchell is the chief foreign affairs correspondent for NBC News. Here's what she said yesterday on MSNBC. I had the uh, the advantage or disadvantage, as the case may be, of watching he, uh, Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich at the same time on side-by-side -side screens. It's my job. Someone has to do it. With us now here in the studio, David Rare teaches media and politics at George Washington University. And from Washington, Sally Quinn, editor of the Washington Post on Faith Block. So Ms. Mitchell seems to be over the line here, Ms. Quinn. I mean, disparaging an entire political party when her job is to cover the news objectively. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me why. <laughs> I don't see it that way at all, Bill. I don't understand what the fuss is. I read that quote over and over, and I kept thinking, what is wrong with this? I mean, have you ever tried to watch two speeches at once and then try to report or speak about either one of them? It's impossible. So when she says, I had the advantage or the disadvantage, it was, it's really hard to try to make something of it. All right, but in the context of the discussion of yeah. on MSNBC, it didn't have anything to do with Sally's technological problem. It had to do with who she was watching. And I she, don't think so. I don't think so, because she said she yeah. thought Romney's speech was good, and Romney's speech was good. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I think that she so was, giving her she the was late. You're giving her the yeah. beneficial on MSNBC. The but here's, here's my point, Sally. Let's say that you're correct. I mean, we can't read Ms. Mitchell's mind. I want to be fair to her. All right, but let's say you're correct. Just the, just the she should have said right. that. She should have clarified that. What if Carl Cameron, our main campaign guy, comes down to the O'Reilly Factor, as he does occasionally, and says, you know what? I had to spend a day covering his Obama people. Somebody has to do it. Come on. Come on. You know what the outcry would be. Even if he was saying, I'm overworked, you got me running around, and, you know, I'm delirious, it would have been taken in an ideological way because that's what the liberal press wants to believe. Now, what I do well, believe. Well, you're right about that. You're right about right. that. But what the I do believe press is that. The would have said that they were, they were somehow ideological. All right. But there was but a study. Even though they weren't. The last time Andrea Mitchell was on this program was 2007. She was on the factor. And there was a study by Pew Research that said NBC News, of all of the television news agencies, was the most supportive of Barack Obama. That's what it said. Okay? This was an objective study. I had Ms. Mitchell on. And I said, and she, of course, didn't believe it, just like you don't believe Ms. Mitchell was denigrating Republicans. She didn't believe that study. She, I don't know, I can't do it. But look, you have to know, and everybody has to know, that NBC News is really getting into deep water here with this combination NBC, MSNBC. They're really getting in deep. You know, Bill, I think that the most important thing is that people understand what they're watching. If the viewers or the readers. Do they understand no. the cross section of hard news reporters I going don't, into? I think it's. I think it's really clear. I think that when Andrea. I think Andrea is beyond reproach as a journalist. All right.